It was mid-afternoon on the 22nd of January, 41 AD. In the morning, the Emperor Caligula had been to the theatre, but he had a bit of a hangover, so he decided to skip lunch and freshen up with a quick bath. That's where he was going, all on his own, down a back alleyway in the palace compound, when he was jumped by a posse of soldiers. The first blow to his neck, or some said to his chin, didn't kill him. But the next 30 or so did. One nasty rumour said that the assassins ate his flesh. Caligula was just 28 years old. He'd been in power for less than four years. It was an extraordinary moment in Roman history. Only Rome's third emperor, it's Caligula, who has come to stand for the corruption, horror and excess of Imperial Rome. Psychopath and depraved, he is said to have ruled by the sword, to have made his horse into a consul, and to have insisted he be worshipped as a living god. And ever since, he has become a template for tyranny, with chilling echoes right up to our own age. One of Caligula's favourite sayings was, let them hate me, so long as they fear me. But how much of his story is true? On the throne for just four short years, Caligula has left us little physical evidence. And to get behind the myths means a detective hunt for clues all over the Roman world. From the battlegrounds of his war hero father in Germany, to the island of Capri, where people said he was schooled in the art of imperial power, to the astonishing luxury of his life as emperor. I'll uncover a Rome full of intrigue, murder and dynastic power and come face to face with not just the monster, but the man. So who was Caligula? And why has he gone down in history as one of Rome's biggest villains?